Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing an ASOS haul. I promised myself I wouldn't spend any money this month on ASOS. And then all the Black Friday stuff came along and I came and I hate myself and I kind of want to send a bunch of this back. So I'm kind of hoping you guys tell me a bunch of it's ugly. I literally just had the order arrive about an hour ago and I've got two three other things I bought this month. So I'll show you those ones as well. So obviously please don't tell me you hate those ones because I've already worn them. I'm gonna start with the things I picked up earlier on in the month. The first being this t-shirt, <laughs> which is this long sleeve pingu top, which I am in love with. I already wore it in a video. I wore it in my shoe collection video, which is two back. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. But basically I saw Megan LB, I think that's how you say her name, who's here on YouTube and on Instagram, has a blog and everything. I saw she had this and it's amazing on her and I saw it and had to buy it and it was in my basket within like half an hour. One thing I would say about this is it does come up quite small, not in the body but in the arms, they're quite kind of tight. So I did size up in this, I had to like send it back and get a bigger size. I then got this massive monster of a coat. ASOS had like a 60% off winter coat sometime throughout November and I've been after a new big thick winter coat because my autumnal ones are just far too thin. And I wanted a fluffy one and I wanted one with a hood because I forget to take an umbrella everywhere I go and then get rained on. So I saw this one which is like the most mammoth fluffy coat ever and it's got a huge furry hood which is far too big for my head and it's just literally completely furry. It's the thickest, warmest, nicest thing ever and I think initially it was like £210 or something like that and I paid like 90 for it so I'm very happy with that. I then just picked up this little choker which I think is adorable. It's just like a really simple silver one but then just got this massive like brooch style bit at the front. I've been loving this with so many things at the moment. I just think it looks really kind of chic and elegant and it's a nice little kind of throw on thing. However, just in case you do buy this, if you're wearing it, you could not look down because the second you look down, it stabs you in the windpipe and it's very, very painful. I learned that the hard way, so I'm just giving you a bit of a heads up. <laughs> on to the guilty order. The first thing I have is this jumper, which is the complete like frilly high neck trend and then it's got really like cut and it's just orange and stripey and everything I love in a jumper. However, this looks tiny to me. This looks like a child's jumper. I don't know if it's meant to be cropped or whatever, but it just looks really, really small. But I saw this and they literally only had one size left and it was my size, so I bought it. But I'm um in an R in as to whether this is gonna fit me. So you'll see in the cutaway if this is not the most horrendous childlike top ever. Sticking with the kind of autumnal looking things, I also picked up this orangey top. The trend I'm really loving at the moment is like turtlenecks with then little slinky like luxe sort of tops over them. So either satin ones or lacy ones over like a thick turtleneck. It's like the nicest look. I love it. That's all I'm wearing at the moment, like with jeans or tucked into skirts. I just think it looks so good. So I picked this one up to go over like a black turtleneck, which I think would look so cute for winter. I also have this in pink as well, and I wear the pink one way more than I ever thought I would, so I kind of caved and had to buy the burnt orange one as well. I then picked up this, which is basically the same thing, but it's silver and it's a dress, and it's just super, super like metallic, which I really love. And again, for the same reason, I want to be able to wear this over the top of a turtleneck. Again, with like a black one underneath would look cute, or like a really deep pink one would look really good. This was from Glamorous, and I think it was in the sale as well, so I think this was only like £10. If you kind of want to look kind of put together but you still want to be all kind of cute and snuggly and everything I think this with a like turtleneck underneath it is just the perfect perfect winter Christmassy outfit I then picked up another choker this is like a bandana style one you may have seen previously that I tie bandanas on my neck all the time it's one of my favorite trends so I thought this was really cute because it's kind of more simple and subtle and kind of easier to wear than like faffing around with, like trying to knot your choker in like the perfect way so yeah I picked this up and now we're on to the things I feel so guilty about. So if you haven't already seen my shoe collection video, which I just mentioned earlier, I showed you all my shoes and they were basically 90% garish, colourful, crazy ankle boots because that's all I wear. And I swore to myself I was done. I didn't need any more boots for autumn winter. I was through. I have enough. And then I was like, oh, there's a couple 
what I like. So I bought them because it was 20% off and I'm like, if I'm actually gonna cave and buy them, it's better that I at least get 20% off than buy them later when I'm even more vulnerable. <laughs> so I picked them up and I bought two and I'm really hoping that I only like one pair. These are really pretty. <laughs> so I got this pair, which is this burgundy heeled boot. This is my favorite style of boot. I like when they're suede. I like when they're just this really chic shape with the heel matching the boot. And then the fact that it's got this little like bow tie at the back is so sweet. I've really been after just a plain black pair of boots like these and I can't find a pair I like, but I thought that these with an all black outfit would look really nice. So anytime I wanted to wear black ones, these would be a really good kind of substitute. So that's kind of how I justified them to myself. I know it's not a good justification, but look at that bow. That's so cute. I love them. The other pair are a little bit different and I think that ASOS may have run out of their like actual shoe boxes. This is just like a general cardboard box. <laughs> They're really nice too. Look at these! Oh my god! They're like this nudie pink, slightly peachy orange colour. I'm not really sure how to describe this. They're very kind of 70s, but also that very Gucci trend of the kind of brogue sort of thing. And I don't wear anything that isn't ankle boots, so I don't own any brogues. I don't own all the um, slide on things that are really popular right now. So this is kind of as close to that trend as I was going to get. And I saw them and just thought they were just so stunning. I just think these look really sophisticated and classy. Do you like them? Should I keep them? Should I send them back? <laughs> okay, that was everything that I picked up. Please tell me you hate it all in the comments. I would love that. <laughs> and let me know which is your favourite pair of boots out those two because I really only want to keep one. So when I actually try them on and put them on, because I haven't filmed any of the cutaways yet or actually tried any of this stuff on, I'm hoping I'll hate them. This is like a plea for my like own sanity and bank balance. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe if you're not already and I will see you again soon with probably another haul because I cannot help myself. <laughs> Bye!